In this problem, we want to simplify each radical using the product property. We got the fifth root of negative 32, x to the 31st, y to the 52nd. And simplify each radical using product property. Assume all variables can be any, any real number. Well, to begin with, our index is odd. And we got a negative number inside, so the negative can automatically come out in front. So we don't have to worry about that at all. So we've got negative fifth root 32 x to the 31st y to the 52nd. Let's look at 32, the prime factorization of it. Start with the first prime, which is 2. It is divisible by 2, 2 times 16. 2 is prime, so we circle it. Then we go to the 8. It's divisible by 2, 2 times 8. 2 is prime, so we circle it. The 8 is 2 times 4, and 2 is prime, so we circle it, and the 4 is 2 times 2. All of those uh, are prime. We have them all circled, so there's 5 twos. So I'm going to have the uh, negative fifth root of 5 twos, x to the 31st, y to the 52nd. Well, our index is 5, so we're looking for a set of 5 of something. Here is 5 twos. So those 5 twos is going to come out in front as a single 2. So we've got negative 2, the fifth root of x to the 31st, y to the 52nd. Well, let's figure out how many x's we're going to have come out. So we're going to take uh, 31 divided by 5. 31 is our power. How many x's do we have? 5 is our index, the number in a slot. And we do old style division here. 31 divided by 5 is 6 with remainder of 1. Now this is how many is going to come out, and this is how many is going to stay in. Now let's look at our y's. We're going to take our power, which is 52, divide by our index, which is 5. 52 divided by 5 gives us 10, with the remainder of 2. This is how many come out. We have 10 y's come out, and we'll have 2 y's stay in. Okay, so what did we say? We said we're going to have 6 x's come out, so I have x is 6. And we said we're going to have 10 y's come out, so we've got y to the 10th. In the fifth root, how many x's we have left inside is 1x. And we're going to have 2 y's left inside. Which then gives us negative 2 x to the 6, y to the 10th. Then the fifth root of x y squared. And that's our answer. Now I don't even need to worry about uh, entertaining whether it has any absolute value bars on it or not. Because our index is odd. Whenever your index is odd, you don't need to worry about putting absolute value bars, no matter what the instructions say. But that's our answer.